having doubled since 2008, the global desalination capacity will reach 100 million cubic meters a day in 2015. The Research and Development Department of Acciona Agua is working to develop innovative solutions to improve the energy efficiency of desalination processes. The Research and Development Department at Acciona Agua focuses on each and every stage of the desalination plant. As far as pretreatment goes, we're working on the development of a highly efficient and innovative flotation uh, system, the Ultralife Evo. The system will be deployed in those cases where algae bloom poses a challenge and reverse osmosis operation. The energy efficiency of the system will be increased as compared to conventional systems due to improved design and also the inclusion of novel technology. We're also working on the development of a membrane pretreatment process through the High Flux project. This membrane pretreatment process will work at very high fluxes and under very challenging operational conditions at very high energy efficiencies. Also related to the pretreatment stage, we have the VETRA process, and this is focused on the development of a portfolio of processes that can be used to treat the waste streams generated as a consequence of the cleaning processes that happen cyclically in desalination plants. The objective, the final aim, would be to achieve higher uh, recovery conversion rates and also reduce the waste streams generated by desalination. As far as the reverse osmosis process goes, we're working on the development of real-time control systems and schemes. A very good showcase of this focus is the hydrobionics process that is focused on the development of a wireless sensor that can measure real-time the extent and rate of formation of biofouling. This will enable us to operate reverse osmosis systems uh, real time in such a way that we improve the energy efficiency by controlling and preventing biofouling. Finally, we're also working on the remineralization project that aims at the development of a post-treatment process that will achieve very high calcium and alkalinity levels while still preserving a very good quality effluent in terms of turbidity. As we can see, our projects are aimed at the development of processes that can achieve very high efficiencies with very low energy consumptions.